Okay, we are live. We are live and I'm actually prepared this time. I'm actually officially prepared. Hello, everyone coming in. Good to see you. Hope you are doing well. Pope, good to see you. 64 uh, Bit Robot, hello. Alien a Animations, hello. Aldrana, hello. Tucker Smith, Oliver, Helpy the Helpful Bear, good to see you. The Lone Crescent, insert good username here, hello. Mara May, S. Uh, Sanjay, good to see you. Skywolf, Pinto, August Does, Brandy Buck, Tucket Smith, Gloomy Angel, Elias. Good to see you all. Hope you're all doing well. This is going to be good. I'm. It will be good. It's a lot better, too. Um, love the sketches. Good. Johnny King, hello. First time here. Glad to see you here. The Lone Crescent, thank you for gifting a sub. I appreciate that. Thanks for the support. Thank you. Yo, what's up, too? Good to see you. Concessions. Yes. If you guys want to buy some concessions and support the channel, there, there are the goals. <laughs> You're going to watch stream more, but I... Oh, you're fine, Connor West. You're totally fine. I hope things go well for you. Good to see everyone here. Oh, I forgot to start my timer. There we go. All right, timer is at the bottom left corner. In five minutes, we're going to start. Guess the Garden. Thank you for the $2 super chat. Going to heart that. Thank you so much. Appreciate the support. Holy crap. Tayesha coming in with 5,000 bits over on Twitch. Freaking beating the bit goal by 100,000. What the crap. Thank you. Everyone on chat. Every Everyone on both chats. Give Tayesha a huge thank you for the 5,000 thousand bits yeah bickle destroyed <laughs> thank you so much everybody bro boy welcome to the stream so do you have any pants on i do have pants on you guys just can't see it because i'm behind a desk also we're i have returned to the headset mic do i sound good I was testing it, and it sounded like I was just fine. What's in the jar? It's my bits. It's it's where you pay things. Hi, it's my first time here. Glad to see you here, Bella. Coolman, welcome to the stream. You sound good. Perfect. Oh, I'm glad you do. I, I'm, I'm glad I do, yeah. Yes, I'm going to see the new Superman movie. Of course I am. All good. Good. Holy crap, the Lone Crescent coming in with five gifted subs over on Twitch. Thank you so very much for the gifted subs. You guys are absolutely amazing. Freaking destroyed the sub goal too. I can't change anything right now because I don't have that. I don't have like any of that set up. Like I'm going to show you guys the setup here that I have right now. But I'm very excited for this. What's the stream for? I'm showing you guys the new D&D &D setup that I have that is going to allow us to play a lot of fun interactive D&D &D games together. And I'm going to officially showcase it a lot better this time because last time I wasn't really prepared and I was having technical difficulties and I don't feel like I showcased the table well enough didn't do game theory or game theory tables justice this is the ones who provided the table for me and I'm able to do a lot with it and uh, I wanted to redo the stream and really showcase it really showcase what this table can do if you could shout out what software, et cetera, are using, that would rock. Will do. I 100% will. Now he's prepared and will have technical difficulties. No. No 64-bit 60 robot. No. We won't. Okay. You guys want to know what the problem was last time? If anyone was here last time, do you want to know the problem? The problem was, is one of my control buttons on my keyboard was stuck. It was barely stuck down, and right as I clicked it, everything was fixed. Literally, right as I went off stream, it was working just fine. And I promise you, it's it, no control button stuck this time. I'm able to move. Like, I'm literally looking down at 
my chats right now on the table. I got YouTube chat over on my left. I got Twitch chat over to my right. And honestly, this is so much fun. It is so exciting to just kind of look down at it. And I know I got like this podium over on, sorry, my, my streaming stuff is all over here. So if you see me keep looking over here, I'm looking at the time I'm looking at OBS, making sure everything's okay. But now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this table, this desk, and like switch it with the, with the game theory table. Yeah, Sticky Keys, it's great. Hi from the table. Hi. Yo, L. I know. Always check Sticky Keys. Noted. Yes. Not get the weirdo welcome to the stream. Last time was last time was too entertaining. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Guys, I had Game Theory Tables watching this. They posted this on their Kickstarter for all their Kickstarter people to watch this. You want to know what happened? I failed. I it was horrible. It sucked. It was it was so bad, but now things are a lot better. We're we're happy now. We're happy here. We're gonna start in 45 seconds. I'm gonna showcase the whole table, what you could start doing with it, and see where we can go from here. Because th this is just the beginning. I have barely touched the surface on what this thing can do, and I'm hoping that once I like disconnect it from the computer, it's not gonna mess with the stream. Because I want to show you guys what it's, how it functions. When when it's connected to my computer and when it's not connected to my computer. Yeah, you guys will be able to see it here in a second. So I'm very, very excited because this Wednesday, everyone, this Wednesday, we have D&D with chat again. I'm so excited. I got the campaign ready. All the assets are ready. The characters are ready. We are ready to go. It is time to start the stream. I need everyone in chat to just start saying table, start chanting table. Because we are going to showcase this right now. Ladies and gentlemen. Please let me... Let me officially reintroduce the table in all of its glory. Okay? I actually have a good setup now. As you guys can see, this is the table. I got a... I got uh, my... My iPhone connected to a tripod and it's looking down at the table. So yes, there's a glare. I don't know how to fix that yet. If anyone knows how to fix this glare on how I could best like go about using the screen, that would that would be absolutely fantastic. But as of right now, there's going to be a slight glare. So I apologize for that. But you guys can see I have been looking down at the table, looking at chat. And also from what you could see, I'm, one I'm running Windows on this. It this is because... This table is now connected to my computer through C port. It, it's it's a C port connected to the table, and it's feed it through and connected USB on my computer. That's it. That's and I can start using this as a fourth monitor or second, third monitor. How many you guys want to have? So it's really cool. It's actually really fun to look down and see both of the chats and talk to you guys. I'm having a ton of fun with this. And as you can see, if I touch over here. The mouse is over here, and I can now resize chat however big I want to. It's working a lot better now, and this is great. I'm loving this. All right, we're going to put chat over here. I'm going to put chat right there. Perfect. Okay, so I want to show you guys what you could do with this. Uh, let me get a tab open and move it over. Actually, I'm going to turn my camera off really quick. Oh, not that camera. Huh. The iPhone camera. I got to... Well, that didn't work. You're still seeing it. All right. There we go. I got to get D&D &D Beyond up and showcase what I was trying to showcase last time. See, D&D &D Beyond. There we go. Right there. Select my map. Perfect. Oh, yeah, this is working great. I can't wait to show you guys this. Let's get another one up so I could show you it. Uh, I want to go to my characters. View. All right, perfect. Now we're back. I totally forgot to get that one up, but now we're good now. So we are now to uh, d, d Beyond. Where you can pl where you can house all of your D&D characters, where you can house uh, your D&D maps, and guess what? Connected to this computer, you guys can play D&D 
on the virtual tabletop and roll your character sheets as well. So as you look through here, you see acrobatics, you know, there's little uh, buttons that you can press to roll for that. And DD Beyond will calculate what that roll is, add your modifiers, and everything. So let's say you're playing, your DM says, all right, the human fighter, I need, you, I need you to roll an acrobatics check. You go, all right, got it. He switches to the screen, boom. You press the four, rolls the dice, bam, you get a three, you fail the acrobatics check and you have to make a whole new character. And you have to sit down at this table and create this character in front of everyone. All right, you, you have to do this in front of everybody. Now, it's just, it's just a w better way to torture your players. It's great. Now, I believe, if I'm correct here, if you use two fingers, it works as right click. We're going to find out because last time my control button was sticking down. I don't know if that's going to do anything. So we're going to try it. Let's do two fingers. No, it doesn't do that. All right, I'm going to have to play with this. Um, I rolled a three again. I rolled two threes in a row. This is not my... You know what? Here. No modifier. We're going to do a better roll for our history check. <sighs> it's just my luck, huh? It's always just my luck to roll a natural one. Great. Just great. That's what I get for giving Dungeon Masters more ways to embarrass their players. Awesome. So yeah, you can connect to the internet. You guys can play D&D Beyond on this and it's amazing. Any like you can literally search the web and it will work just fine cuz you're using it through your actual computer. Now, if you go to D&D with chat, or right, D&D with chat. This is the map. As you can see, I can use my finger to move the map around. I can use two fingers to zoom in. I can use two fingers to zoom out. It's that simple. It's very responsive. We got our characters over here. I can move Treaty over here. Perfect. Let's say Treaty wants to go that way. Let's say uh, Tanky the Barbarian wants to go talk to Gerber Gamji. And let's say Smitey doesn't want to do either of that, wants to get away from the party. And so he just leaves this way to get away from everyone. What's really cool, too, is not one person can be using the table at a time. Let's say multiple of you are trying to use the table at the same time. Move your characters, trying to strategize. Well, guess what? Click all three. Let's see if I can do this. Bam, bam, bam. Boom. It's a little glitchy because this is technically on the computer. But you can move all three characters all at the same time. That's really, really cool. I'm very happy about that. I'm so glad this was actually able to showcase this. So, yeah, you can connect the table to your computer and you guys can use this as a second monitor and it has touchscreen capabilities. It's absolutely fantastic. The app that I'm using to be able to use this as a second monitor is called... What is this called? Give me one second. I think it's called Space Desk. Yeah, it's called Space Desk. S-P-A-C-E d-e-s-k so you got to download the app on your uh, on your device android device or ios device and well this is going to be android so um you want to download this on your android device and then you want to download the drivers on your computer then you can either connect it through wi-fi which is works fine but the best way to have like the best functionality and the best like like the least latency and it runs smoother is connecting uh usb-c from the table to USB to your computer. So that's how I have it work. That's literally it. It's just a USB C to uh, USB, and then I use one app, and now I have this working. It's fantastic. Now, everybody, let's see if we can play Baldur's Gate 3 on this, on the table. Are you guys ready to play Baldur's Gate 3? Now that I have everything downloaded and everything, sorry if I'm missing a bunch of comments or whatnot. I apologize for that. But use your fist to control it. No. All right, let's see if I can get this to work. Baldur's Gate 3. I know there's not a big update. Oh my goodness, local maple. Looking great. How many touch points does the screen have? I'm curious if it can have physical minis that drag their vision ranges across a fog map. Ooh. Um, so local maple, thank you for that question. Um, the table does not have that capability. 
right now because again this is just acting like just a regular touch screen so it's like it's like your phone it's like a, just a big version of your phone and so if you put your minis on there and if you turn it it's not going to respond in that way i hope that clears that up there would have to be some special technology connected to the table with the mini you have and so the table would be able to input when the mini is turning and everything but i bet if you did put on like fog of war or whatnot and you move the um the characters around i think that'd be just fine i wonder actually actually you gave me a good idea you gave me actually a really good idea local mabel let's try this um this was this one was not planned um i i want to try this really quick one second let's let's get let's get a dd figuring i got a little dd keychain right here this is probably not going to be the best way to have it so i got a little dd uh keychain so we're going to have this be the mini uh let's put this one on smitey right now and let's say you know we got my little fiber cloth here let's see if i put that down oh 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 shoot okay hold on so you can put that down and if you have the microfiber cloth this is this is a bad example i got let's try this gotta like hold it right there so if i hold down on it okay this is a very bad example this is a bad example i bet if you actually had like a flat surface of a mini because the this one is just a lot. You, you can't do a whole lot with this. I bet if you have like a flat mini, like, you know, with the with the bottom and everything, you'd be able to like use it just fine. And then I broke D&D &D Beyond. Great. But I, I think you could. I think this would be, I think this would, you know, no, I want to try it. I want to try this. Everyone's here to see how well this works. I am going to go grab a mini and we're going to test to see if this really can function like that. I, I, I'm fairly confident in Will. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. All right, I got a bunch of minis right here. <laughs> Which ones aren't broken? That is the question. That one's broken. That one's broken. They're all broken. <laughs> They're all busted. So use them for sketches and throw them around. Uh... I don't think I have a mini that could, I could, we're here. You know what? Let's just grab the base of it. There we go. All right. All right. I got a base here. The base of a mini. I'm going to put it in this microfiber thing. The, the, the finger cloth. The reason I'm using the microfiber cloth, by the way, is to just make sure I don't leave any streaks or whatnot on the table. And it's also very helpful to like move around. So I'd highly suggest investing these. They're like, you get like a ton for like eight bucks. All right. So here we go. I'm going to put this on treaty. We're going to act like that is, oh, okay. Oh, you totally can. That is cool. So if you had a little personal mini figure and you wanted that, to be on there and have the token and possibly like move things around you totally can do that oops so push that down move it i like that that's so cool it works local people thank for the idea honestly we could probably get better at that we, we will find out we will find out i definitely am probably going to do that in the future though for future streams Cool, cool. All right, Baldur's Gate 3. Let's try to get Baldur's Gate 3 to run on this. You guys are all amazing. Thank you for this. All right, all right, let's see. You guys ready? It's starting. It's starting. And this time it's going to freaking work. Oh, did it just turn? Okay, okay. Did I already have it set for this computer? Or did I just unplug it? Oh, no, no, no. We're good. We're good. Oh. 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 Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> we are the first ever live stream to play Baldur's Gate on a table, guys. 
Look at that! It broke. <laughs> it crashed. Delicious. We are the first ever. Oh, it's working again. Oh, look at that. Yes. Yes. Now, if only I could figure out how to use like left click, right click, and then like the the middle click or the middle click, uh, left mouse, right mouse, and then the uh, the middle mouse. That would be fantastic. Here, let's let's change music up. We're gonna do straight up bops. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. I just gotta wait for it to load. Because if you remember, I wanted to showcase this last stream, but no, there was a 101 gigabyte update for this game. Press any key to continue. Can I just? <laughs> I love when the the graphics aren't even loaded in in this game for me yet. It does this all the time for every game. It's working just fine. Look at this. Look at this, guys. I'm controlling this with my hand, and we are playing Baldur's Gate 3. I'm going to press continue. Freaking look at that. Look at that. All right, let's see if we can do any battles. Let's figure this out. Updates are important for the game. Yes, but freaking 101 gigabytes. My gosh. Use page up and down to zoom in and out. Well, I wish I could do that. I'd probably, I might have to use like my fingers or like I might have to actually have like a keyboard right down here at one point and be able to do that. Also, does anyone know where this music's from? Oh, Level Mabel already knows. Heck yeah. All right, come on, load. Load. Because I can, I can bring up... Whoa! Whoa! Excuse me, where are your clothes? Carlock is currently naked. <laughs> hey, yo! Okay, we're good now. What the crap game? I am streaming. Okay, okay, so it's currently me. I want to do a long range attack. Yep, I want to do light crossbow. Okay, okay. And I want to attack him. Bro! <laughs> Guys! Oh my gosh, it worked! It actually worked! Oh my goodness. All right, can I do three figures a turn? Nope. Okay, it's only inputting one finger. And I can move. Okay. Well, we can do that. I'm not sure how to do left click or right click on this program yet, but I'm going to find out. I will find out. And if I can get that done, that's going to be amazing. But yeah, uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, yeah. Anyway. So guys, you can play Baldur's Gate 3 on this. And look how well it's smoothing for a table. For a an app that's connected through USB to the computer, it's running this smooth. This is fantastic. Awesome. So just showcase it that you guys can play your TTRPGs. You can access the web. You can watch YouTube. You can watch TikTok on this thing. I'm not going to showcase that because you never know what you could get on TikTok. But now I'm going to showcase disconnecting this and showing you guys what the table is when you guys get it. Also, by the way, if you guys want to check out and potentially get your own table or ask more questions about this, click on the link in the description or pin comment. If you're on Twitch, type an exclamation point table and it'll bring you to a link where you guys go. It's an affiliate code. If you get anything through that affiliate code from that website, it's going to help us out tremendously. So there we go. All right, I'm going to disconnect. I'm not sure if this is going to affect the stream at all. So please bear with me if it does. Uh, here we go. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Are we good? Are we back? It froze for a little bit, but are, are we back? I'm going to, I'm going to look at chat real quick. Stream is fine. All right. We're good. We're all good.
Can I play Happy Birds, Angry Birds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, so let me show you guys. So, this is ran on an Android device. This table is ran on Android. So, you connect to Google Play. So, if I go up, uh, I can I could go to the Play Store. Okay, and I could go down. I could download TikTok. Again, I could get word search. I could download anything on here and play it. Let me show you how well this uh, how well this runs. So, let's see. I even got the D&D Beyond app. Let me show you guys that right now. So, here's the character. Here's Bonky. I can move up and down. Click Constitution. Whoops. Go back. Click Constitution. It's going to roll. Works perfect. Works great. Look at that. Intelligence is a two. G good thing that's for Bonky and not for me. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Let's swipe this one up. So you can swipe everything. This has a little like magic drawing thing, which is awesome. So you guys can even create your own maps. So let's say uh, random battle encounter. Uh oh, what am I supposed to do? Uh, okay, let's make a quick little grid. One, two, three, four. You know, your five spaces. Boom. Place your guys' minis right down there. You are ready to go. Not sure how you could stop it from not touching, but... Yeah, you can easily jump into that. It's very responsive. Head over. Let's do... Oh, uh, okay. What should we do, guys? Do we want to do uh, Fruit Ninja, Angry Birds, Cut the Rope, or Geometry Dash? Each one of them works great. Yeah, I'll get a shot of the whole table after this. I'm going to have to unscrew the... The iPhone camera, but yes, I can. Angry Birds, Happy Birds, Geometry Dash, Geo Dash, Geometry Dash, Geometry Dash, Geometry, Angry Birds. Okay, so we'll do Geometry Dra Dash, uh, Angry Birds, and then Fruit Ninja. That's what I'm seeing. All right, so yeah, it runs great. We're going to go over to Geometry Dash. Look how smooth this is running. It's running so smooth. It's running a lot smoother. This is uh, the camera is running at 30 FPS because I'm on a trial right now, and then I can upgrade it to 60 FPS. But this is working great. Look, Thre play stereo madness. Here we go. You get. Uh, I suck at this, but literally play geometry dash on your table. Let's see how far I can get. It's trippy playing on this big of a screen. I'm not going to lie, but this is so cool. It's like you're at an arcade. Guys, this table could bring the arcade to you. Just saying. Because you know all those arcade games. Like, you could play your Angry Birds. You could play your Fruit Ninjas. No more having to pay $20 to play one game. You can just bring it right to you. Oh, I freaking remembered that one. Let's go. Here we go. Let's see if I can get it, guys. Oh, 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 come on. First try. Actually, this is the second try, I think. Am I close? Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, gosh, come on. I can't believe I'm going this long. That's what she said. Come on. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. Let's go, guys. Oh, yes. Come on. That deserves likes, everyone. If you haven't liked the stream yet, you guys need to like it. How could you not like this table? This thing is amazing. Oh, yeah. I got to press home. I'm like, okay, why isn't this working? Okay, so then it was Fruit Ninja. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. No, it was Angry Birds. I apologize. It was Angry Birds. Angry Birds is next. Thank you for becoming a member for two months. Uh, Myra, makeup. I appreciate you guys. Nexus family, click on the link in the description. That's where the link is. I haven't got some things set up. So, Piggy Tower, look at this. Go right here. I've never played 
with the, the, the white chicken before. This one's a new one. I don't know what she does. Oh, okay. Now I know. Okay. And I'm not doing very good at this one. Yeah! Came right back for a victory. Let's go! Wait, am I not done yet? Oh, end level. Okay, there we go. You can play Angry Birds. We'll do one more. Oh, you can also connect Ethernet to this as well. So if you want like a really fast connection, you can easily just connect Ethernet to this and it'll work just great. Fine. Let's go. Get wrecked, son. Get wrecked. Come on. Okay, there we go. Yes. All right, one more. That's how you do it, guys. That's how you freaking do it. Boom. Boom. I got I to gotta check my phone. Okay, we're still good. All right, cool. So there's Angry Birds. Obviously, we can check out uh, Fruit Ninja. Fruit Ninja, here we go. This was a fun one. This one's a lot of fun. You guys can see my setup. I didn't realize you could see that. Yeah, this is just connected to just a regular, like, an old uh, boom mic stand. I just got a bunch of extensions and then put the iPhone here. And now it's directly just looking down at the table. If I couldn't tell the egg does damage, yes, I could, I could tell that now. And then in the future, you guys will be able to hear from the actual thing as well. So don't worry. And just just let me play. No, just let me just let me play, please. I just want to show people this. Come on. Play game. All right, guys, here we go. I just brought the arcade to me. One time payment. Look at that. You guys can literally play Fruit Ninja. I have my cousin in laws here. And uh, the girls who were here, they were playing against each other on Fruit Ninja. Like, you can have two people on each side playing. And it was so much fun. It's great for parties. You guys are just wa watching an arcade stream now. All right, ready? Here we go. Ah, oh, darn it. I was trying to do a trick shot, and that didn't work. Local member asks, how many separate touch points are allowed? Can you have a separate minions controlling separate points, or do you have to control one at a time with shared pucks? Um, well, I, I just showcased that you can move multiple. You can move multiple. Like, when you have it connected to your computer, you, I mean, I don't know how many touch points you can have. I know there's, like, one. Like, I got to have three touch points right here. And so if, if someone has a mini over here, and someone has a mini over here and this person's moving this mini over here and then this person's moving their mini over here they could do that at the same time so like i get it. I, you're gonna have to test yourself i'm only one person i can only i mean here i got i got more here let's i don't want to do this but here we go ready one two three oops <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i think you can have as many touch points as you want i got Five fingers on here, or ten fingers. I got ten fingers. I can't count. I got ten fingers on here, and each one is calculating a point, and they're all moving. And I'm going to have to reclaim that because you guys wanted to no. know. I did see the super chat. I appreciate it. So I, I'm not looking at the screen. Again, I don't have anything, so I apologize. So yeah. But there you guys go. That is the table. Um, And... I hope I showcased it a lot better. I hope I did game theory tables proud with this one. Again, I set things more up. 
I, I busted out my headset mic. I actually got the camera up here to sh showcase everything. But now a lot of you wanted to actually see the whole table as it is. So let me do that for you guys. Uh, it, it took me forever to get this set up. Now you're wanting me to move this. How dare you all? You guys better like this stream. All right. You better like and love it. So uh, here's the table. It's a 63 inch screen TV, I believe. You guys can see where I, where I was set up. Well, you got little drawer compartments here. You got little attachment pieces right here as well. So you can see they could be uh, little holders for things. You can uh, put wires through here so you can like hide the wires, which is really nice. Game Theory Tables also has a lot of accessories with this as well, where it's like they have dice towers, they have dice rollers, they have a painting mini station. That you can get with this as well so cup holder cup holder ton of cup holders a, a lot of little pads where you can place things on so your dice and whatnot drawers on each side uh it can fit comfortably six people i believe you can bring it up to eight you can even bring it up one two three four five six seven eight you can fit 10 people on this table if you really wanted to uh, let me show you the underside of it if i can so under it, I don't know if you guys can see that, but you guys can see there are uh, outlets. Oh, sorry. The outlets are over there. There, You have a bunch of external outlets right over there. You have a bunch of external outlets over there as well. So you have two spots where you can like plug in a bunch of devices. So if everyone brings over a uh, like computers and stuff, you guys can have everyone charge their stuff and no one has to worry. Um, but yeah, that that is the table. And you guys can you know, add more to it. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure on, uh, updates or whatnot. I know they're updating some of the, the computer processing and everything. So like I, even mine is already outdated. I'm just going to say like mine is already outdated because after we went to, uh, game tower West, which is the, which is where they flew me out to check out this table and everything. Uh, we were running into a problem. I fixed the problem, but before we fixed the problem, they already upgraded the hardware. So, like, my stuff is already outdated. If you get your stuff, it may even run better. So, there's that for you. Uh, does anyone have any questions? I feel like I'm really, like, a salesperson. Like, all right, sham wow, bam. See this? Spill it on the, on the table. Wipe it all up. Bam, sham wow. Do you want one? Yes, here you go. Everyone gets a table. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> Can it blend? No. What colors does it come in? I'm not 100% sure, but mine is black. I know they have like a wood color, which is really nice as well. How much did this cost? Um, I I know they're running a sale right now. Again, click on the link in the description or pin comment and you'll be able to see it. You know what? Let me let me just bring up chat. Let me, re let me reconnect this so I can uh, look at chat a lot better. We're probably... It's coming... Oh! Oh, that worked just fine. Oh, it connected over here just fine. All right, let me... Let me go back over here. I'm going to move chat back over here so I can read everything. Oh, those fingerprints. Yes, they are. Is it waterproof? Oh, that, that is a very good question. Um, I'm not... a I know I can clean the top of the screen. I believe they said it is... See, it is pretty sealed around the edges. So if you do spill something on it, I don't think it's going to like creep in the edges and like ruin the hardware. There, There is a top that goes on this. And um, I wish I could show the top, but I, I just took down my phone and I I, I want to be able to like re-show re -show you it or not. So um, there, is, there is like uh, like four slides that go on top of the table, which like turns it into an actual table. And I know um, they seal, they kind of seal each other off. Like if something does spill, you may have to open up the the sides and kind of wipe the insides in but i'm 99 confident if you do spill something in it it's not going to get like down to the table you'll go there with the ten dollar super chat appreciate that thank you to everyone who super chat and subscribed and whatnot i'm sorry i wasn't able to pay attention but um ju just know i really do appreciate it. there's been a lot going on we've destroyed the sub goal we destroyed our bit goal we destroyed our super chat goal you guys are insane Topper is an extra cost, though. Thank you. Topper is an extra cost. 
Does it have a bit on sound set? Yes, it does. And, and if you go under there as well, like if you get into like the mechanic parts, it has an aux cord. You can plug in your aux cord and you could connect it to subwoofers if you want. You could totally do that. Office tour win, <laughs> whatever. Is it edible? Uh, if you try hard enough. Is there any restrictions on where they ship to? I'm not 100% sure on that one. These are all good questions. These are questions I need to ask um, Game Theory and everyone. Hello. Guys, it's wife. It's wife. Everyone say hi to wife. Yeah. Here's the chat. They probably can't really hear you, but. I am wife. <laughs> uh, I think just in there. Oh, they went. They went to the store. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> these are all really good questions. So thank you guys. Um, I will have to bring it up with the owner and ask him these questions, and hopefully we can get answers to that in the future. I roll an insight check on Duke because I want to. Oh, thank you. Cool outfit. Yeah, she just came back from uh, swimming with a client. Hey! Oh my goodness! Anonymous Gifter gifted out 10 subs to the community. Thank you, whoever just gifted 10 subs to the community. I appreciate that greatly. Thank you. What is the table's weight? Heavy. <laughs> it's wood. It is wood with a 63 screen inch TV. So you definitely need like two to four people to help set this up. Thank you to everyone. My gosh. I need to go back through and like thank everyone after this. Hey, George, congrats. Heavy, heavy as mess. Yes, it was very heavy. With 100% chance of no mute. What do you mean no mute? Oh, I can mute it. Like it comes with a controller. Like I I, I could, uh, like it came with a controller for me. Oh, you guys can't see. I, I took it down. You guys can't even see the TV. Now I'm sad. It comes with a remote. And I, I could turn it up, up and down. Like I could turn the TV off. It's great. Do you know the resolution of the screen? Oh, uh, it's definitely... Oh, yes. Yes, I do. So it was running at 4K, but that was the problem we were running in. It was running very laggy when it was in 4K. But then I turned it off to just regular screen. I believe it's 1080... Uh, uh, 1920 by 1080 at 60 FPS. Does it have Bluetooth? Yes, it does. It does have Bluetooth. Does it have a nuke? No, that's that's an additional option you have to buy. Ah, thank you. Did I? How, how many super chats and stuff did I miss? There we go. Now I can move things. Would it be available to find my party's barbarian? Maybe. They haven't upgraded the hard. They have upgraded the hardware and say that it limits the lag, so it might run okay at 4K now. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, the upgraded stuff may may run at 4K. Not 100% sure yet, but we'll see how it goes. Again, mine's already outdated. If you buy one, it's gonna be better than mine, and I'm already pushing it. So provide your own uranium. Yes. Can the table tell me that it loves me? Um. If I, I I would if I had the the writing stuff, but I, I don't have that right now. Does it have LEDs? Ooh, um, I don't believe it has LEDs for this table yet, but I know they have other tables that have LEDs in them, and they're freaking dope. What are some non? What are some accessible features? Accessible features, um. Cup holders, they have drawers, they have dice towers, they have dice trays, they have mini paint holders. Like this table is supposed to be a TTRPG's a player's wet dream. <laughs> Good job, Duke. Selling the selling point right there. That is now the logo for game theory tables. A TTRPG's wet dream. Boom. Here we go. Does that have a microphone? I don't think it does. Oh, disability stuff. Oh, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> um.
I'm not 100% sure about that one. I don't know how to answer that one. Um, but I'll, I'll have to ask and see. Throweth it behind thee. No, no, no. Not game theories. Matt, not Matt Pat's game theory. Just game theory tables. Does it have Wi-Fi? It doesn't have Wi-Fi, but it can connect to Wi-Fi. Happy Rex Manning Day. <laughs> can it withstand rage quitting? You can test that on your own. The arena table did not have LEDs when I saw it at Dice Tower West last month. No, no, no. It, it doesn't. This, this table and the other table that was showcased um, did not have LEDs. But the, the ones that doesn't have the screen, they, they do. How good is its audio? I mean, it's pretty good. It's a TV. So whatever like audio you get from a TV, it can it sounds pretty well, honestly. And then if you connect uh like your own speakers to it, it's gonna sound great. Well, is it flip resistant? Listen, if you could flip this thing, I'd be ex I'd be proud. I'd be proud of you. I can't use three fingers properly for gaming on a phone, let alone that monstrosity. Can you play tabletop simulator on this? I could. I, I totally could. I got I just gotta figure out the uh the finger inputs. Is it rage quit proof? Oh gotcha. Oh, it's flip resistant. Oh, I get you now. I get it. Alright, everyone. Well, um, I'm gonna leave it at that. <clears throat> MTG Air Arena on that thing would be nice. Oh, you're freaking right. I actually have it. I, I haven't played it yet. I have actually played it, so I want to I want to be able to show you guys. Thanks for the preview. Can I get me friends? Probably. Cool, everyone. Well, I'm so glad you all were here. Thank you for being with me on this. I hope uh, game theory tables. I hope you got. I hope I did justice with this review this time. This worked absolutely fantastic. And again, guys, Wednesday, we are playing D&D &D with chat. And again, you guys already saw the map. I, I can at least show you this. I know, I know I can, I know I can go here. Display capture. Turn off iPhone. There we go. See? Like, even, like, look at this, too. So, this is something I didn't even check. Like, this is running OBS. It's looking at this screen, and I can move it. Like, look how smooth it actually, like, moves. Capturing that. that that's that's this one. Now, let's see. If I could do all three. I'm going to move that one here. Move that one here. Okay, let's move that one here. All right, I'm going to do four inputs. Ready? Uh, one, two, three, four. Guys, I could do it. I could do at least four inputs on this. So anyway, guys, um, this upcoming Wednesday, we're going to be playing D&D &D with chat. Once again, we're going to be using the table. We're going to have it like very more interactive. I got the coding, everything ready. I'm so excited. I can't wait to jump into this. We're back to streaming again. We're going to be coming back to just so many other things. We're going to be bringing back the TTRPG Reddit story videos here soon as well. There's just a lot of good things coming about, and I'm just excited to start building this community. And I'm glad that we are able to play D&D &D in a new way with having people be able to communicate directly to me through Twitch chat, which is exciting. Also, like playing on a table and showcasing an actual TTRPG where it's going to feel like we're all together playing D&D. &D. And I literally cannot wait for that. But thank you all so much for watching. I wait. Uh, this is the end of the stream. If, if this is all you came for, great. This is the end. I gotta say some thank yous for all of the donations and stuff. So let's do this. Uh, actually, I'm gonna turn this off. I don't. I don't. Whoops. There we go. I want to make sure I give everyone my thank yous because a lot of people, I wasn't able to really pay attention to y'all on this one. So I apologize. All right, YouTube first.
Guess the Guardian, thank you for the $2 super chat. Local Maple, local, bleh, local Maple, thank you for the $10 super chat. Anna Lee, thank you for the $2 super chat. Kirby and family saying hello and love the new table. Thank you so much. Uh, Myron Makeup, thank you for becoming a member for two months. Appreciate that. Ava Tootie, thank you for uh, the $12 quid. Appreciate that. Muko, thank you for the $10 super chat. And Muko, thank you for the $20 super chat again. What was the goal again? Well, I, you're destroying this goal. Thank you so much for all the super chats. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for that support. You guys really do our help in this channel a lot. And now let's look over to Twitch. Anonymous Gifter, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Uh, Mustiga Steel, thank you for the th uh, the Prime. The Lone Crest, thank you for gifting out a sub. Uh, the Lone Crest, thank you for gifting a sub. Or thank you for giving a sub and thank you for subbing. Clint, thank you for the four bits. Clint, thank you for the eight bits. The Lone Crest coming in with five gifted subs. And Tayesha, thank you for the 5,000 bits again. And Lone Crest, thank you for the one gifted sub again. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Thank you all so much for the love and support. We will see you guys on Wednesday, probably around maybe 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. I got to just make sure that everything is good and I'm ready to go. But you guys are great. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for all the support. We'll see you guys freaking Wednesday. Let's go. Oh, yeah, now I got to walk over here awkwardly and stop the stream.